Cat Zitmo Miller, and I have a new picture book out today called Not So Small. I wrote the words, Paola Escobar created the art, and it's published by Quiltree Books, which is part of HarperCollins. I wrote this book when I was thinking about all the things that have been going on in the world in the past few years. We've had a global pandemic. There's been political disagreements. There's been people in the news behaving badly almost every night, not to mention anything personal that you might've had going on in your life. And I also started thinking about how a lot of people I know have opinions about how things could be better, but aren't sure that they as one individual person can make enough of a difference to make some change happen in the world. And so this book is written to remind people, young or old, big or small, that their voice matters and their voice can join with other people's voices to make the world a better place. I am going to read you the beginning of the book. Big things get noticed, tall buildings, loud voices, wide walls. Next to them, some people feel small. Like puffs of dandelion fuzz, not needed or known, barely seen, but remember. One acorn grows an oak, one pebble sends out ripples, one snowflake starts a storm, and dandelion fuzz can cause a big sneeze. So this is the book to read yourself or to share with someone you know when you're interested in using your voice to help make the world a better place. And then I started thinking about all the other picture books that are out there that encourage people to do similar things. I found four of them that I want to share with you. First up is Speak Up. It's written by Miranda Paul. It's illustrated by Ebony Glenn. And this is a book for kids, encouraging them to use their voices and talk whenever they see something that they think should change whether they're sharing an opinion, asking a question, thanking someone, suggesting something, all ways in their small everyday lives that they can speak up and use their voice. The second book is by Tessa Allen. It's called Sometimes People March, and it's a look at why people march. If you look back at US history, there's a whole you know array of marches and movements that have you know, become very well known and very well justified. And so this book talks about why marches happen. And then there's information in the back about some of the best known marches and movements in US history and the people who helped make them happen. Then we've got A is, to, a is for Activist by Inosanto Nagara. It's a board book, it's an ABC book. And each letter of the alphabet reflects a word that's important for activism or social justice. And I have to admit, there were one or two words in here that I learned when I read the book. And finally, we have No Voice Too Small. This is by Lindsay Metcalf, Keila Dawson, and Jeanette Bradley. And it's a nonfiction book. It looks at 14 real kids from the United States that saw a need or a problem in their community and stepped up to help solve it. And each of the featured kids gets a two-page spread in the book that says what they did, why it was important, and then there's a poem written about them by a luminary in the children's literature field. It's an amazing book. Um, I think anyone who reads it is going to be inspired to look around them and decide what problem they can help solve in their community. Because I think that's the importance of using your voice, is looking around, seeing a problem, and saying, how can I help make it better? And then taking the action either by yourself or with other people to make something good happen. So I hope that after you read these books and share them with people in your life, that you no longer feel quite so small and you can go out and feel good about the contribution you're making to our society. Thanks a lot and happy reading.